My name's Lizzie and welcome to my year, blog, year abroad vlog series. Sorry. Today I am going to be packing, hence my friend here. Um, I am packing to go to France. I'm going to study at l'Université Grenoble Alpes from January. No, no, January. What am I talking about? From well, August 26th, Monday. Oh, it's now Saturday. Probably should have packed earlier. We all make mistakes. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going from August 26th to January 18th. Uh, yeah, so a bit of a long haul. Trying to, to pack all in just this one suitcase. Let's see how it goes. Probably need a lot of help, hence that's why you're here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going there to study. I'm trying to, the aim of the game is to become fluent in French because I study French and Spanish at the University of Nottingham. So I've done my first two years there, so I've just finished second year, I'm in summer now. Um, so my third year is being spent abroad. So I'm going to France for the first half to study, and then once I finish that placement in January, at the end of January, I'm going to Mexico um, to volunteer at a school to help teach English to children at the school, to the Mexican Spanish children. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about both things, but right now I've got to focus on the packing for France. It's, also, it's like, it's very difficult to pack for this kind of placement because it's just a really weird series of months. Because when I get there, it's going to be warm and like for the whole September, it might be nice. Like, so I just, you've got to pack like nice warm enough stuff like jeans, t-shirts, skirts, dresses, things like that. Uh, but then later on, you've got to, but then like in October it's going to flip the switch and then we're going to go into the Arctic and it's going to start snowing, it's going to be ski season, can't wait for that. And yeah, it's going to be like just snowy and cold. So you have to pack your thermals, your puffer coats, your big coats and like that, those fill up a suitcase very quickly so this might get a bit stressful. <laughs> and also you've got to pack shoes and oh my god and toiletries. But the good thing is I'm getting the Eurostar train, so that means I don't have a weight allowance on this guy. So he, can, I can make him as heavy as I want, and trust me, I will. <laughs> yeah, so let's just get into it. Try and pack all the stuff. I'll show you what I've got. I've kind of, I've like already. I just need to finish. So I've already organised some of my stuff. I just like gone out of the wardrobe and stuff and like gone it ready to pack but then I just need to get some other stuff out of the wardrobe and my drawers just like to get it together see what I want to pack I obviously will have way too much stuff for the first like um like when I first get everything out that I want but then I will like whittle it down to the bare essentials well, not really bare essentials but you know like the things I think that I will wear the most yeah if you get me um yeah Let's just get the stuff out of the wardrobe and whatnot and then get into it. Okay, this is the aftermath of all that gathering up. So, as you can see, my sofa has been well and truly filled. Not ideal. Um, yeah, and I also kind of want to, I also want to bring jackets as well. So I'm feeling like this coat is good, but then I don't know if I'd wear it straight away when I get there. So that, I, this one could be a bring it later on, because I am going to come home at some point, like probably like start of October. And yeah, I think that this might be a good thing to like bring back. No, like, I think that this might be one that I can't pack now because it's rather like she thick um so i might have to come back for her later uh no i won't have you no i don't know about this because i have this polka dot dress that this goes really well with but i don't know and i really don't wear it that often so i don't know if i can warrant bring it i'll leave it out for now no 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 i might wear this one on the train tomorrow it's quite lightweight and it looks quite fashionable and when i arrive in france i want to look fashionable and yeah this one's coming because i really want to wear i love denim jackets denim jackets own my heart i have as you can see i have the red one i have a blue one i have a white one i have a black one i love them to death okay so yeah let's just start working through all of this stuff and see what we need 
to get together to put in here. This suitcase is brand new, so it's very lightweight, which is ideal. Because I'll be making it rather heavy already. Oh, okay. Look in here. It's pretty deep. I feel like I can fill this out. I understand what this like casing is in it for. I'm just, probably just to keep it clean, yeah. Um, looks like you get a padlock with a that's fun, okay. Let's try and get all this stuff in there. Stop going for it. Okay, I don't actually want these. These are little shorts. I don't think I need them. Um, okay, let's pack the shoes first. That would be a good idea. Tag on it, not ideal. God. Yeet. Uh, so, this is going to be the skiing. I don't think I'm going to bring my ski jacket straight away because I think that'll take up too much room and also it's not. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, somehow, some way, I made it fit. Look, that house safe was full. I'll be, I have got rid of quite a lot, hence the tip on the floor. But, um, we packed a lot. Like, wow. And that didn't even take that long. I was actually dreading this. I was like, oh my god, it's going to take the rest of my life. I was having a breakdown. Oh, but now we managed it. I'm so proud of us. Um, I'll be it. There are still a bunch of stuff that I need to get in there. But that is the majority of my clothes. And that is incredibly exciting. Wow. Um, yeah, wow. I can't believe that that's actually happened. Oh my god. I'm getting emotional. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, I also still need to get my toiletry sorted and whatnot. But I'm, I think I'll put my toiletries in my duffel bag, as I think I said earlier. Um, yeah. I also want to find my sliders and I have some other underwear that I want to go in because I don't think I have enough for all that time. Um, but oh my gosh, yay! I'm so proud. Thank you for coming with me on this journey. I hope this video wasn't awful and you didn't have 
the worst time of your life. But yeah, I'm very excited that we've done this because I have my friends staying over later and if I had all that mess on the sofa, it would have been a nightmare because I need to get the sofa bed out because that bed is a sofa bed. Well, thank you. Right, okay. Well, thank you for joining me and the next time I see you, I will be on my way to Grenoble. See you there, guys.